Photograph in your own backyard. Photograph in your own backyard. Photograph in your own backyard. Hello, photographers. Recently, I caught a video uh, featuring the uh, legendary outdoor photographer Galen Rowell. In this video, he talked about his approach to photography, his techniques, his photographic tools, sharing his experiences so that others can learn from it. Now, despite this, one of the first comments underneath that video said he gets to go places where we don't get to go and therefore that's why his photographs have a unique perspective. Wrong, 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 wrong. His photographs have a unique perspective because of the man himself. The, his approach to photography, his life experiences, his photographic experiences, the very same things that give your photography a unique perspective. Too many people complain about not being able to get a good photograph because they don't think they live in a visually stunning place or they can't afford to go to Yosemite or the Arctic or Paris, but that's just ridiculous. One of the first admonitions you hear from any good photography teacher is photograph in your own backyard. Now that can be literal, like you know the one you mow every weekend, but more often than not, it means the town or the general area you live in. No matter where you are, Raoul's lessons are still useful. Whether you're hanging off a rope from Half Dome in Yosemite, or you're just lying on some nice manicured lawn trying to get a decent picture of a dandelion in suburbia somewhere, it's not simply the place that makes the photograph. It's the subject, it's the light, it's the equipment, but most of all, it's the photographer. What do you see? How do you see it? How are you going to approach it? Uh, what tools are you going to employ? All of these things matter. Everything, almost everything that Raoul talked about in that video applies to you. Don't get hung up on location. That's unproductive and fatalistic thinking and it'll get you nowhere. Show the world your world. Show us what's fascinating about your backyard literal and figurative. The right attitude and all the lessons you've learned over the years, that's what will create a stunning photograph. Don't bemoan the fact that you're not somewhere else. Because you know what? You're always not somewhere else. You know what I mean? Take a walk down the street and look for something interesting and photograph it. And then go back later when the light's different and photograph it again. I think you can make the unremarkable remarkable. And I think that's the lesson that Raoul was trying to teach. And now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go take some pictures of my backyard.